guys, welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we are going to draw the alphabet in 3D. Yes, the whole alphabet, because of course many, many people have asked for it, like lots. And so this is the letter A uh, freehand in 3D. And we're going to make the 3D side here on the left side. So this diagonal has to meet up with this one, parallel with that. And every corner here has to be parallel with those lines. And this is how all these lines here make it look like it's in 3D. So 3D means that there's also volume to your letter. And then we need to close off these lines here. I have these lines parallel to the bottom ones. And now we can retrace the contour of our letter A. Now this is the freehand style. I'm going to do a few letters freehand and then we're going to do letters box style. And you'll better understand that in a few seconds. So what we're going to do now is color the underside really dark and the side here a light gray for the letter A. And it looks 3D. So let's draw a letter B. And the letter B essentially should be the same height here as the letter A, top and bottom. And then we're going to put these little holes in the letter B, just like you draw a capital B. These lines have to be parallel. This is going to be a little bit longer. And then these parallel lines, remember these diagonal lines have to be the same as this one on the letter A. So these lines here and that line, very straight line over here on the letter B. And then this part here has to curve just like the front part of the letter B. This like has to be the same height as the thickness of the letter A and curved around. And then we can retrace the outlines of all this stuff. Color in the B, and same color as on the A, light gray, and then the black here, just like the bottom of the A on the B. All right, the letter C. Letter C essentially is a big circle to begin with. That's an easy way of drawing a letter C in 3D. So just draw a big circle, and it has to be the same height as the B, but it has to be a little bit longer than the B. It has to go below the line of the B here. So see how that goes beyond that line? And then we're going to cut off a piece here make another inner circle, and then go diagonally again for the letter C. All right, so all this stuff we can erase. Don't need that. We've traced our outline, and now we can go ahead and make these diagonal lines here, just like the letter B and letter A, and curve it all the way around and bring it to the beginning of the letter C. The same thing here at the bottom, diagonal line just like that, and then pull a curve and color that in. The trick here, however, on, on coloring the underside and side of the C is using what we call a gradient. So under here, we'll make it nice and dark, but over here, we start light, and then as we're getting underneath the C, we have to start making it darker and darker. So a gradient is from a light color to a dark color, and that's what we need to do. For All right, C. the next letter will be the letter D, and for the letter D, we're going to draw sort of like the letter B, but a really nice curve here on the right side. And then inside that, we'll draw the inside of the D. And all these lines here have to be the same thickness. See this thickness here and this thickness here have to be even. Same thing here for the top, sort of has to be even. And then the same diagonal as the B and the A has to come down over here, all the way down. Another same diagonal. And then the same sort of curve as on the C as the letter D at the bottom isn't straight, it's curved. We need to curve this off. So there we go, retrace the outlines here. So in about 24 minutes or so, we're gonna have drawn the whole alphabet in 3D. All right, let's color this stuff in just like the other letters. And now we can erase all this stuff inside there. All right, so. With the letter E, I'm going to use the box technique. And the box technique essentially is to draw a square here. So I'm going to draw a square, which is the same thickness as every other letter. And inside that box, we'll draw the front face of the letter E. So we need to draw those three prongs coming out of the side of the letter E. And then I can retrace that stuff inside there, just like this. I apologize, my hand is sort of in the way, and now I can erase this line, get rid of that stuff. And that's the box technique, it's pretty simple, and we're going to be using that for the rest of our letters, because it's sort of a guideline as to how thick, or how wide, or how tall our letter needs to be. 
All right, the bottom has to be very dark, just like the bottom of every prong, very dark. Just like that. And the side can be lighter here. There we go. Okay, letter F, box technique. Well, you just saw the E, and the E is even, you know, a bit more difficult than the F. So if you were capable of drawing the E, then the letter F will be super easy for you. So here's two prongs coming out of the side. Here's one, here's two. Pull this line down, and there's our letter F. Get rid of all this stuff that's gone. And now we can use those same diagonals to draw the thickness to the letter F. So I'm just going to do the outline here real quick. And then pull the diagonal lines just like this. Voila. And then we're going to color the underside black here. And the side here light gray. And the underside of each prong a nice dark color too. There you go. 3DF. Okay. The next letter is the letter G. And it's just like the C, but it's a bit more complicated. So we have to start with a nice big circle once again. And then we're going to do the same cutoff point like we did with the C and the same inner circle like we did with the C. But don't forget this little tab right here for the letter G that pops up. Now the difficult part with the letter G is that it has to be the same thickness all around, right? So you have to keep redrawing these holes and prongs here so you get the same thickness all the way around. So you can see here, this is a bit too thick, so I need to make this a bit thinner. Same thing here at the top. This is a bit thicker than here. So what I can do is redraw a little bit of these things. So you have to keep redrawing and redrawing until you're satisfied with the thickness of your letter G. So I'm going to make this a bit thinner. And then I can retrace the outline of my letter G. And don't be afraid to retrace. It's okay. Redraw, redraw. You know, you have an eraser. That's what it's for. There we go. So the top is a bit thicker, but it's okay. Let's erase this stuff. And then we're going to add the thickness, the volume to our letter G. Another nice curve, just like the letter C. If you've, built, if you've been able to draw the C, this should be an easy letter to draw. I'd have to say it's one of the most difficult letters to draw the letter G. There's, there's worse, of course, and I'll tell you what those are. If you can figure it out, which ones are the most difficult ones, then congrats, but I'm pretty sure maybe you know already. All right, so this side here is a bit more difficult. It has to be that gradient again, from light to dark. Dark underneath, light on the side. And there's our first row of letters. So, letter H. Letter H, I would have to say, is the uh, third easiest, easiest letter to draw. So, box an, a letter U, square U here, and an upside down square U in the middle like that. And there you go, your letter H is complete. That's, I mean, the easiest thing to draw, I think. Except for here, the diagonals. There are a lot of them. And that's what makes the H a bit more difficult than the letter I. The easiest letter, in my uh, opinion, is the letter L because, you know, it's only two sticks stuck together. It's really easy. So let's draw the outline here, the letter H. There we go. And then we're going to color the side here. Uh, erase this stuff first. There we go. And then color the side light gray, under here dark, under here dark, light gray, dark dark here. Oh, light actually. And now the letter I. So let's draw a little rectangle like a ruler. And this I'll draw a small letter I. Okay, so here's the dot. Here's the top line of the I. And then this has got to be curved. And then the thickness. This letter I is one of the easiest letters to draw. And this is a small I. So we're going to draw a capital I next to see the difference. You can use both of these. I think having a a small letter with the capital letters are pretty cool, like, you know, the word hi, and uh, the contrast of both those letters are pretty neat. So just like the underside here of the G, this underside of the dot of the I is the same, same gradient. Let's get rid of all those detail lines. And now we're going to draw the capital I in this box. So sort of like the letter H, we're going to draw a box, and in there, here, we'll draw a reverse C, and on the other side, we'll draw a very rectangular normal C, if you get my drift, those little empty spaces, I see them as letters or shapes. Like this one here is like a D, sort of. You know, the outline of a D. And then the thickness, just here, every diagonal from every corner. 
another diagonal, a corner, a diagonal, a corner, a diagonal. And then color light, color dark, color light, color dark, color light, color dark. And erase these lines, don't need those. So there we go, I. So another box, let's draw another box. This box technique is cool because you have complete control on the biggest, uh, well not the biggest, uh, the size of your letter. So here's the letter J. Letter J is pretty simple. It's like a fish hook. A fish hook within that box. And then we just need to curve the bottom part here. And the 3D or the volume side of this can be a little tricky, so let me try the outline here first. Okay, so we need a diagonal here, and this just curves, whack, right into the bottom hook. And this is the same, we'll just curve it up into the top part of the J, and then the gradient, just like the C and the G, in the bottom of the I, same thing. The gradient here on the side of the J is a little bit different, but it'll start dark and then go light, because it's curving upwards rather than underneath. Letter K. K can be a little complicated, but all we need is to do is a few triangles. Here's one triangle. Here's a normal triangle and another triangle. Three triangles within this box will actually make a letter K. So those negative spaces to me look like triangle. And it's not that difficult really. It's a bit more tricky when you're doing the volume part next. You probably all know how to draw the letter, letter K. So here's easy diagonal. Now these guys have to be parallel, all of those four. And then the underside here is the only other thickness that we can see. We can't see the thickness of the top part of the K because it's too angled for the camera to be able to get. See this part? We can't actually see that because it's hidden back there. All right, nice and dark. And now we can get rid of all these lines that we don't need anymore. Recolor that in a little bit. Okay. This is the easiest letter of the alphabet. In my opinion. Ta-da! We're done. See how that that's this is the letter L. Very, very, very easy to draw. Two sticks stuck together. Or a hockey stick. A very straight hockey stick. And we're done. And we draw the thickness, the volume. And that took a whole 20 seconds. Alright, color the side here light, color the underside dark. And erase these lines that we don't need. Boom. Letter L complete. Next. Letter M. I think the M is a little complicated. It's more complicated than the N. So triangle at the top, like this, right in the middle. Okay, these have to be parallel, the same thickness. And then under here, we're going to draw a normal M. Like not a thick M, just a very, these angles have to be the same. Just a normal letter M, right? No, no thickness, just like when you're writing, there's our M within an M, and so now that's how you draw the 3D M. Anyway, the top face of it, and this is how we draw then the thickness of the volume to that M. So side face here, and then these have to be diagonal, all even, diagonal, diagonal. Just like here too, don't forget that one. And then a straight edge right here, and this one can't see, just like the K. Dark, 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 and this dark at the top, then maybe lighter at the bottom. These lines we can get rid of. The N is sort of the same. So just a straight line over here, just like our H. Draw that square, same thickness as the H. This is a triangle here, sort of like with the letter K, and another triangle, reverse triangle at the bottom, just like a two triangles cut out within a box, and then you get yourself the letter N. And then the thickness to our N here. Color this in nice and dark. Underneath, of course, underneath is always dark. Voila, get rid of these lines. Boom, gone. Oh, the letter O is like the C and G. Um, it's just a big circle. The tough part is actually, you know, it's simple enough to draw an O, but it's difficult drawing circles sometimes. So let's draw a nice circle inside here too. And then we'll try to retrace this as close as we can to our basic trace. And then the thickness. The letter O is pretty simple, but I think it, what makes it difficult is trying to make a perfect circle. So don't try to make a perfect circle, just draw a circle. It doesn't really matter. Or an oval. Mine is more oval-ish, and that's fine. The gradient here is just like the C and G. 
All right, now we can get rid of all those trace lines around there, those foundation lines as I like to call them. Letter P. So once again, we draw this little box and then we're gonna curve out this edge and then pull it straight down here from the bottom. Boom, just like that. And then inside here, we'll draw a little hole. Just like the letter D, it has to be parallel to this part. Well, it doesn't have to be. You can draw the letter P like you want, as long as we know that it's a letter P. Thickness is quite simple. Underneath here has to be the same as this. Just do this side here. Trace this out. Okay, this bottom here has to be nice and dark because we can't see the thickness really. And this part is curved out. There we go. Now we can get rid of all this foundation stuff. Next, letter Q. Letter Q is just like a letter O, exactly like the letter O, except for a little stick coming here. Like, they're the same, right? Except for this thing right here. There's a rectangle that's like sort of breaking the section up. Right here, there's a little rectangle right in the middle of that Q. And now we can trace everything out. Remember to stop, go up, go down. There we go, we've done the Q inside. And now the cue outside. Stop, go down, come around, there you go. And the thickness is just like the letter O, except for this tab. Same diagonal as every other letter. And the inside here is just like an O. Voila, letter Q, let's erase this thin. All this stuff here, no need, and color that stuff out now on the side. So light at the top and dark at the bottom. This here can be a little bit darker as well, and in here, Bit lighter as we go around the edge. Okay, P and R are exactly the same. I'm gonna just make this a bit thicker here. Okay, the letter, the only difference between the P and the R is the leg. So the R is walking, trying to walk away anyway. So let's uh, draw that rectangle. We got here our P, but then, oh, it kicks out a leg. So there's our, our P with a leg. The letter P trying to walk away is the letter R. So we got a little curve here, same hole as the letter P, and then the diagonals that will come in after I finish tracing the outline here. So here's the thickness. Diagonal lines, color that in. All right. Nicely done, and get rid of this stuff. Up next, the most difficult letter in the alphabet, ladies and gentlemen. Run, flee, hide. This one is tough. My toughest one anyway. So let's draw that box to keep it simple. Well, as simple as we can. There are no magic tricks to this one. This is absolute control, so it's a letter S. Let's start doing the outline here. And look, if you have to, Keep retracing this stuff, that's okay. That's all you need to do is just like the G here at the beginning, and then you need to curve it and curve it and curve it. That's all it is, it's just a big like snake here. And the same diagonal is up there. And the tough part is that every piece here has to be the same thickness. Just like a line down the highway, the painted line is the same thickness everywhere you go, so the letter S is the same. So keep retracing that stuff until you get the proper thickness everywhere. I've, not, I've done a not too bad job. But there's no straight edge, so it's difficult. We have to make everything curve. And that's why I think that the letter S is the most difficult letter to draw in 3D. So now we curve everything else as well as the thickness. All we need to do is follow the outline of the top face of the letter S. There we go. And then color in the content. Dark underneath, remember, use that gradient technique. And right here too, all nice and dark at the bottom. So the letter I uh, is the, let's say, third easiest letter. The letter T is the second. So this is the letter T, real easy. Two sticks once again. So L is the easiest, T is the second easiest, and I is the third. Except for the dotted I. Dotted I is one of the easiest. Well, the easiest most likely. But I'm not counting the small letters, only the caps here. So letter T is pretty simple. L, T, very easy. So don't forget that section there, right? That little part here, here, right? Okay. The letter U. Just a U at the top like this, a regular written U. 
a little bit longer here. And then a big regular written U here at the bottom. And remember, keep those thicknesses the same. So the same thickness throughout the whole letter. That's sort of important. Well, to me, anyway. And then erase all this stuff. Boom. Gone. And then here are our diagonals and the curves to retrace the outline of our top face. There we go. All right, color this gradient all the way to the bottom, dark underneath, reverse gradient here on the inside face of the U. And then let's draw another box for the letter V. So V is a triangle in the middle and a triangle on either side here. So three triangles cut out in that box make a letter V. There we go. Retrace, get rid of all this junk, bye. And then do the diagonal lines here. Oh. So by popular demand, the alphabet in 3D in 24 minutes or so. W. W is a difficult letter in my opinion. That's not as difficult as S. But there is a little mini W here at the top. Just like that. And then a very big W here at the bottom, but with a thickness here, just here. The problem is, is making all these lines exactly the same thickness. And I don't think I've done it very well here at the bottom. They're too thin. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. I'm not going to erase it or redo it. I'm going to leave it just like that. Next time I do my letter W, I'll make it better. See, these things here are, have to be the same thickness. Uh, so, But this here is a bit too thin. Right? It's just really too skinny compared to that. It should be the same thickness there, but no matter. Here's the diagonal line. See how thin this is? Doesn't make much sense, but it doesn't really matter. I don't mind. See, that's how you should be when you draw it. Doesn't matter. I'm having fun doing this stuff and drawing these videos for you guys, so I'm going to keep it just like that anyway. There we go. W. Now, the next letter. Letter Y. Why? Because. Just because. So, the letter Y is real easy. Diagonal line, straight line. Same thing on the other side, mirror, diagonal line, straight line, and then a triangle at the top. Boom, letter W. You know, there's a few videos that I have about letters. I've got the my name, Paolo in 3D. Let's erase this stuff. And then I've got uh, the X, Y, and J in another video. But people kept asking me, hey man, can you draw the whole alphabet? I thought that would, those other two other videos would be enough, but I guess that... Uh, I'm going to have to draw the whole alphabet for you. But, you know, it's my pleasure to do so. That's what I'm here for. Do on to others as you'd have others do on to you is my message, you know, and that's what I like to do, so. And last but not least here, just like the S but reversed sort of, uh, the letter Z. So straight edge, another straight edge. So it's actually two triangles cut into this square here. Imagine making these things out of wood, and all these shapes here are the same thickness, right? That's what's tough here about the Z, or Z in Canada, Z in the U.S. Uh, we've got, and I'm not sure how they say it in the U.K. And, and in Australia and all that, but hey, let me know. And then these things, we need to erase that. And there's our letter Z, or Z, or Z. And the thickness comes across like this, and like that. All right, so for the thousands out there that wanted the alphabet in 3D. I really hope you like this. I thank you for watching Drawing with Paolo, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Drawing with Paolo. Have a great day, guys.